Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to advertise your Shopify store on Google Ads in 2023. So advertising your Shopify store on Google Ads can significantly increase your online visibility and drive targeted traffic to your website. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the steps to advertise your Shopify store on Google Ads in 2023. From setting up your Google Ads account to creative, effective and ad campaigns. So we will help you maximize your advertising efforts. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end. So you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial step. So here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser this you could possibly have. Once you do so, you will have to simply go and open this uh, URL section. Simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button. That will take you to the home screen. If you're not familiar with this website, you can scroll down, read more information about yourself, uh, about Shopify, and of course, familiarize yourself with it. And of course, uh, if you have an account, you can simply go and click on login to log into your, your account. If you don't have an account, you will have to simply go and click on start free trial or enter your email here and then click on start free trial. And of course, a uh, free trial here will not require from you any card, so don't worry about this. Of course, after the free trial ends, you will have uh, to pay $1 per the first three months then you will have to go and pay one of their plans from here you can go and compare uh, them by your own by clicking and compare flat features for me i'm just going to log in into my account here as example of my store and as you can see this is an example of my store so now we would like to advertise this store on my google ads so we will have to go and set up a google ads account so simply visit the google ads so go to a new tab type google ads and just google adsense and of course for me i'm just going to sign in again if you have an account sign in into it and if you don't you'll have to go and create your account again and here of course you can go first of all is enable this to set up a verification on your google ads so protect your google account against uh, password thieves example and then of course you will be able to create campaigns but before you can even, of course, conduct some keyword research, of course, uh, because keyword research is crucial for targeting uh, the right audience with your ads. So use the keyword research tools like Google uh, Keyword Planner, for example, or other party tools to identify relevant keyword related to your Shopify store and the products you offer. Of course, you can create a list of high quality keywords that have sufficient uh, search volume and align with your advertising uh, uh, objectives. As an example, of course, I have a video about these keywords on this channel. You can go and check it out if you want to. Then, of course, you'll have to go and create a campaign for yourself. So simply go to campaigns here. You'll normally find yourself on it. Click on uh, plus button, new campaign. And of course, you'll have to go and set up like uh, it's going to be sales. So of course, you'll have to go and do that by your own. But let's say, let's just do something like that, shopping. And of course, there is no linked account. So before we'll have to go and link our Shopify account here. Then of course, set up the ad group, uh, write the compiling ad, copy, and design the Eve catching ad extension. And of course, you'll be able even to create a conversion tracking system, then launch your campaign and monitor its performance. So as an example, you'll be able to monitor all the performance on this overview or in this insights and reports. You'll be able to uh, see the your costs, interactions, average costs, interaction rates, and a lot of other stuff on this uh, insights and reports. So once you're done, of course, you can test and refine your ads. Then, of course, seek professional help as an example if you want to. So if managing Google Ads uh, campaign seems overwhelming or time consuming, consider like working with a digital marketing uh, agency or Google Ads certifi certified professionals. Of course, they can provide experts uh, guidance, optimize your campaign, and help you achieve of course this will help you achieve like better results and other than that of course you can go even in your shopify store and a lot of others and do here a lot of other stuffs other than that of course you'll be able to do multiple things on shopify so you can, as example, customize your store. You can, of course, explore the various customization options available on Shopify. And of course, you can, as an example, uh, it's important or it's crucial to choose the, like, the right theme for your brand example and make sure to customize the theme appearance and layouts and colors, of course, depending on your needs. Then, of course, you can even show the flexibility of Shopify, of Shopify drag and drop editor. 
uh, and of course you can as an example uh, extend the functionality with apps so this apps option is very useful on Shopify of course if you click on add apps as you can see you'll find the apps that you already have as an example in your Shopify store and of course if you didn't find the app that you want here you can simply go and click on find more apps in the Shopify app store once you click on it of course those are like the plugins that you find on WordPress and a lot of other stuff so this apps are just insane this will help you with kind of everything that you want in your Shopify store. If you didn't trust, of course, you can go and check one of, I mean, not just one, a lot of our, uh, our videos in this channel. Uh, that's uh, You can do a lot of other stuff with Shopify with just the apps. I showed you how to do a lot of stuff with just the app. With just the app. So simply, whatever you have in mind, as example, you want to add like some social icons in your Shopify store. So, so uh, you'll have to simply go here and type social. Uh, media as an example why not and as you can see you'll find here social media icons and a lot of other stuff let's just choose an example we want uh, payments as an example gets away so as you can see you'll find a lot of uh, apps that can do that for you so basically you don't have to do a lot of stuff by yourself you can keep it to the app to do it for yourself you can even use a filter here that has like customized uh, customized checkout or works with just shopify posts and of course you can choose a lot of other stuff other than this app of course you can as example sell in across like channels there is the power of course uh, of multi channels and you can shopify of course uh, you can integrate it with your social media platforms and marketplace and of course you can even set up and manage your sales and channels like uh, on even like Facebook, Instagram and Amazon. And of course, make sure to go and keep an eye on the marketing of your Shopify store. And of course, your online store will always find this here on this left panel as an example. So whatever you made on changes or whatever you you did on your store, you'll be able to preview it from here. So as you can see, if you click on this eye, you'll be able to view your online store. So, for example, this will open a new tab. Here you will find your store as an example. And you'll be able to, to see the themes, the blog posts, the pages, the navigation, preferences. And as you can see, you'll be able to customize this. And of course, normally, if you do, if you have just your free trial, you will they will ask you to pick a plan. So, simply, you'll have to go and pick a plan from here. As you can see, uh, you'll be able to add some themes in the theme library. Or you can upload your theme as an example if you have it already they like. Uh, downloaded in your PC into your PC you can connect from github like some themes you can even visit the theme stores example here you'll find a lot of themes this could be interesting for you so make sure to go and choose whatever themes example uh, be good for you of course some of them you'll find some free ones uh, that's definitely uh, sure as you can see this is free this is not free but normally free ones you'll not find many colors you'll not find it that interesting so other themes normally it's gonna be paid but a lot of them like are pretty good so make sure to go and see all the themes example from here or you can even see some collections from here so here on all themes you'll be able to see all themes and then you can choose the theme that you like to put it on your store so as you guys said there are some good free themes an example this is for surfing uh, this is for i don't know you can go and check that by, by your own so of course there is some good themes that are free as you can see this is for chase and a lot of other stuffs so as you can see there's the pages navigation preferences there's even this point of sales example and so let's just wait for the page and sales loads and as you can see of course our free trial will end in 4 july so of course here you'll have to go and answer some uh, simple questions make sure to answer them not to skip them because they will help you a lot with the point of sale and of course uh here you'll find the the, a lot of pages this will help you including home orders products customers contents analytics marketing and even discounts that you can put on your store of course all of those will be able you'll be able to add it on your store so that's gonna be basically it so if you reach this point of this video uh, congratulations advertising your shopify store on google ads can significantly boost your online visibility and drive targeted traffic to your website of course by following these tips and continuously optimizing your campaign you will uh, find or you'll increase your chance to success so keep testing and refining and adapting your ads to meet the changing needs of your audience so of course with free servers 
perseverance, uh, a data-driven approach, you can unlock the full potential of Google Ads for your Shopify store. So, good luck with that. So, of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you in the next video.